What determines if you're okay with a loss or pissed off after a loss? Uh, just how you play. Um, I think um, at times, you know, throughout this three-game losing streak, we've played good ball, but at times uh, we haven't. And uh, you know, some of it has been like just straight up effort, and uh, some of it's been some miscues, communication, uh, which we figure out. Uh, which we had a great, had a great film session this morning. We had a hell of a practice, so um, everybody's just pretty much locked in. I talked about that film session too. What did that reveal? What did that show you? We're not, just, we're not playing hard enough. Uh, we're not doing the things that need to be done to win. And it's obviously, uh, it's more microscopic in a loss. You can see, see, see it more often when you lose. But, uh, you know, it's probably what's happening while we were winning as well. So, you know, we just got to clean some things up. And I think today we did that. What's it like, even for someone as accomplished as you, to be in a film room, see, just see that on you? Uh, well, I mean, it's just you got to get better. And, uh, you know, we can never take it for granted the opportunity we had to play this game. And, you know, we can't cheat each other, you know. And, uh, you know, watching that film session, we felt like we cheated each other. And, uh, you know, that's something we never want to do, especially for our brothers. How hard is it coming off a championship, though? Because you, you, you've been to the mountaintop. Now to start it all over again, is, is this part of that process? Well, it's, I mean, the process is what should, should strive you. I mean, uh, for me, it's, it's part of my motivation is the process. And every day you have to work it. Um, you know, like I said, last year is last year. We had an unbelievable accomplishment, but that's in the past now. And, you know, you have to be able to motivate yourself. You know, for me, I've been in this position uh, before, uh, twice, you know, coming off championships you know, three times now. Uh, so, you know, you got to be able to motivate yourself going into that following season. Some of the defensive numbers really plummeted after the Detroit when we had like a, five days off. Did guys lose? Some momentum or their edge a little bit with so much time off. It's really uh, well, I hate when it's that much time off, personally, um, especially throughout the season. Uh, you know, All Star break is always one of those moments too where you feel like ah, you lose some momentum. So it was just the scheduling. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. It was the scheduling, and uh, you know, we just got to figure out how to get better and which we were. For the players, um, how is it affecting you guys what you're doing each game, not having that traditional backup point? Um, well, Coach is tinkering with some lineups, and um, and I'm sure like you know he'll get that, he get it in order and get it right. And it's challenging just not having a you know uh, having a, a veteran point guard to back up you know Kyrie and someone that can run the offense. And K is in transition; he's a rookie, so he's learning every day. And um, you know Shump has gotten uh, some helm at the at the backup point, but you know he's our backup two guard at times. So um, it's been challenging for our second unit, our second unit to get a good flow, uh, not having that traditional point guard. But you know we figured out. Last week, did that just trigger that trigger a little bit of a thought? A little uh, seeing him trigger the thoughts of us, uh, you know, our accomplishment we had last year, but it was straight to battle once that ball was tipped. You guys have proven, obviously, you can and, and are a physical team. How hard is it then to flip that switch to be physical? Uh, you got to, um, and obviously, you got to, depending on how the game is being officiated, right. you got to be able to. You know, be physical, more physical or less physical. You got to read the game, how it's being played, how it's being officiated. But you know, it's you know, bringing you know the fight to the game is always something you got to do. You're going to call us a quick question, Pause Gateway. There seems to be more complaining about officiating this year than years past. You notice games being called differently this year. Players and coaches seem to be more vocal about it. Uh, well, for me personally, it's. I've always been on the other side. Uh, I mean, they do, I guess, the best job they can do. Um, you know, it's calls that happen throughout the game where you don't agree with. Um, but it's also calls that you agree with as well. I'm not, and I'm not a big uh, officiating guy. You know, you go out and dictate how you want the game to be played. They may, they miss calls, but they also make great calls too. So um, I do not know how they go to the line at all though last game. <laughs> Thank you.